Judge. This is the case of age ain't nothing but a number. Thank you, Nick. I have a couple here before me today that are facing an issue that is increasingly common. It's the older woman with the younger man. And I also have somebody you all know to come and help us sort out these issues. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Kelly Winfrey and Keontae Moore. The two of you have been together for two years and married for one. I think it's important in this matter that you know that Ms. Winfrey is 44 and Mr. Moore is 25, because I think that is part of the issues that we have here today. Uh, Ms. Winfrey, you are suing for $115 for replacement of a bedroom door. We will get to that momentarily. But Ms. Winfrey, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? My husband is a complete mess. I am so tired of his childish ways. I cannot raise a man, and I didn't get married to raise a man. And everything, and I, it's, all, it's constantly a war zone. I mean, for instance, okay, we shower together. Some, we had a habit of taking a bath together or showering together. We, you know, we get, get we wind down. You don't down. have to explain that. I understand. We wind in, right. We wind and down. You know, I put on my little yeah. things and I'm smelling good. I'm oh, warm and fuzzy. I'm ready to cut it up with my boot. And he walks right through the bedroom into the man cave. He stays in there till four and five in the morning. And I take a sleep aid so oh, I can sleep are. through the night. And he comes in at 4 and 5 in the morning. <laughs> I, we own a business together, and we usually have to be at work at, like, 7 or 8 in the morning. So, you know, I'm no spring chicken. Mm -hmm. I need to get a good night's sleep. He's pulling at me, and I'm half sleep, like, zombified. I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. we should have did this hours ago when I was feeling all good about no, myself. Right, 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 My right. self-esteem was bad. I, I didn't slept in bed. I'm slobbing. You know, I don't feel it. I don't want to do it. He, and it's like, can we compromise? It's Mr. Video Moore, what, did, what, what is your vision of that, of those occurrences? Does that really happen? It, it happens somewhere, but not like that. I, I ain't gonna say it don't happen like that, because it does, but I, I stay up all night. <laughs> you know, I, I like to have my me time. We, we live together, what we about work me? together. Hang on, hang on, hang we, on. We eat together, we at the house together all day. So when I when I get done working, I like to come home, like play the game. You know, I like that. And I stay up all night. I mean, I, I do. All night. You I stay do. up all night playing that all video game? Night. You know, I just, I just be up. You know, I play the video game for long hours. And then I come in the bedroom, and, you know, we got we do got work in a couple hours. But, you know, I'm trying to, trying to start the morning off right. You know, you know, you know, you know I'm trying to, trying to get it in and wake up in a good mood, you know, so we can no, get in. No. And and get to work feeling good. Right, right, right. Do you in co ever consider not only what she likes, but what she needs? Mm. I, I think I do. You mm. think you do? Yeah, but I, I, I could say answer. I could say my life come a little before some time. Right, yeah. right, right. I ain't right. gonna lie. You knew how old he was when you Absolutely. married him, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's part of the reason I married him. I don't want an old man. <laughs> you don't want an old man? <laughs> when you saw him and spoke to him and dealt with him, what about him said to you, husband it didn't. to you? That was his Everything decision. Did. I, I took charge. I, 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 told I, him I, was, him. I told him he was too young for me. I have mm -hmm. a daughter two, three, two and a half years younger than him. And I, I told him he was too young for I me. Was and he not. just insisted <laughs> he was not going to leave me alone. Okay. What about when you saw her, what did he say? Yep, I'm ready to settle down. What was it? It was just everything about her. She just knew what she wanted. She, she knew what she needed, and I felt like I could provide those things and I could be there for her. And I, and I love her personality and her company and, and, and being around her. Hold on, because she bought me the TV he to did play way the video better than game you did. on. <laughs> I, I feel like she, she, she got to slow her roll there. She be trying to mama me sometimes, and I be trying to, you know, just trying to Give do Give me my some examples time. of when she tries to mama right, you. she do that? So I, I come home from, from work at the, in the beginning of the day, you know, I'm like, clean up the house. I like to come home to a clean house. So I come in, and the house is just filthy. Dishes is piled filthy. in the sink. And Messy, it's, it's, not it's filthy. crumbs on the floor and food on the table. And I gotta say something to the kids. Like, y'all been here all day. Y'all not doing nothing? Y'all ain't cleaning up? <laughs> and then she wanna inject like, you, you can't talk to them like that. You, you got to talk to them better. And I'm like, attack I, methods. I, get, I give them everything they want. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I say something that you need to be doing, you should be able to be like, okay. When you say you give them everything you want, what, do, take, what kind of thing? Take them out. 
okay. take them to do their favorite things. I, I, I play with them. I, I, I take them to, to, to go buy stuff. So you treat them like they're your own? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Is he, accu is he right about that? Yes, ma'am. He does. He even does one-on-one -on -one dates with them. So when, so when he does try to come in and, and bring order, do you support him in that, or, or are you supporting the kids in their disorder? No, I never support disorder in the children. And I don't oh. say it to him in front of them. He just oh, doesn't like no. me to say it to him. What I tell him is, you, it's your approach to them. They aren't babies, and, you know, my children didn't really grow up with a father figure in the home. It's always been me. So I'm telling him, you have to approach them in a way that they'll receive your message. Mm -hmm. Well, all they hear is, why is he in my face? He mm -hmm. ain't my daddy. Right. Who is he talking to like that? You know? what, what, what's his approach? What, 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 what kind of things does he say? He's, um, he's very... He, see, he over there smiling and everything like he's nice. But, but he is... Nice. He, those eyebrows go down in the middle, and he, he kind of aggressive. I and then, you know, and when he get mad, his arms, like, do this weird, you know, thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where it comes from, because he, he usually real cool when he playing this game. But, you know, when, the kid, when it comes to the kids, he gets super aggressive, and I'm telling him, you know, my son is looking eye to eye with him. You... Eventually, he's gonna tell you to, you know, back up or something. Cause mm -hmm. and something's you, gonna you, jump off. It. You just yeah. gotta give it to them in a way they can receive it. If they don't, re if they're not gonna receive the message, there's no point in delivering it. Cause all you're doing is starting a fight. Let me ask you something. How effective have your methods been to date? Every now and then they take hold, but I think it's when she really backs what? it up. If it she don't back it up. Like, sometimes they will hear her say, you can't talk to them like that. You got to <laughs> deliver the message differently. Mm -hmm. And then that's when they take it like, well, if she's saying that, then I don't have to listen mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can't say that no. around them. They can hear. She talk loud. No, you can hear. That's what <laughs> so he they does can to hear. me. They can right, hear right, everywhere right, in the house. That's what he does to me. Right, 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 they can right. hear her everywhere never, in the house. I never chastise them in front of them they, that they way. They come on upstairs like, mama, what you talking about? She's like, he, just, he need to learn how to talk to y'all. He just, he got the Problem. How much <laughs> of, how many of your concerns do you believe are a function of your age gap? Keontae goes from I'm fasting to I just don't eat red meat to I don't eat bread. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cooking, cooking the meals each day, I give him his plate and he looks at it and he's like, you know I don't eat meat. I'm like, well, yesterday you weren't eating anything. Right, so right, you, right, I, right, I, right, I don't right, know right, what right, you do. Right. This is what I say to the 24-year-old in my house who looks at my food funny. I'm trying to teach him how to go from being a massage therapist to being a spa owner. Mm -hmm. We own a spa. So when I'm telling him that there's certain things that have to be done on a regular basis and, you know, systems and rules have to be set in place, even though we are the spa owners, we need to abide by these rules sure. as well to keep it running. He's, like, running it like it's a hobby. It's like... And then he mm -hmm. changes his, his occupation every other day. What difficulties do you believe are a function of your age gap? I think just the communication. Where Explain that like, to me. Just where she kind of see things her way. And, and I, I, I kind of admit I live in my own world sometimes. All the time. I, I do my all own the time. thing. Not all the time, sometimes. Most of the time. So I, I try to understand. Well, I do my best to understand where she's coming from, but I want her to see where I'm coming from. And when it comes so to that... So you don't think she hears you when you no, speak? I never. can't hear. Yeah. She can't hear for real. You know I can't hear. But yeah, you don't hear me when I talk. I so. can't hear nobody. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to argue. I'm ready to so, yell. He make me so yeah. mad. Having said that, I'm going to say this. I have brought in someone who, you know, I'm younger than my husband, but I brought in someone who most people know and a lot of people know who have dealt with this issue of an age gap in which the woman is older than the man. I would like to introduce uh, for, her, for her wisdom and life experience, Angie Stone. Miss Stone, what a pleasure. Oh, my goodness. You good to know. see you. Good to, good see, to see you, you. always. You know, I'm a fan of the show. Well, good. And Thank you course. so much. Miss Stone, you've had experience in dating younger men. What do you see as the biggest problems, and what advice would you have for the two of them? One thing I've learned in life is that you can't skip over to experience. As a young man, 25 years old, he can't jump to being 40-plus when experience has to happen. Mm -hmm. So 
patience has to play a huge part. And a part of that means letting him get to the place where you've already been. You've got to allow that because he can't understand or adapt right. to 20 years before his time. Uh, the other thing is having young children almost the same age as your husband, that's a no-no. They're never going to give him the same amount of respect because they have a father. And they're always going to compare them because they're in the same age group. And as a result, they're living the same lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you're expecting him to be 20 years beyond what he is. He can't. His mind can't move that quickly because life is still happening for him. As you, but it's really patience, understanding, sitting down with your kids, talking to your kids about, look, I realize you guys are the same. Now, you can't help who you love. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the heart is this big. I, I, I love younger men. But I know who I am and I know what I'm getting into before I get into it. Ms. Stone, I want to thank you so much for coming. Life experience is so valuable, and I appreciate you sharing yours with us. Thank, thank you. you so much you know, for I coming. I love you, and I'll be watching. You think aggression should work. I'm the man of the house, and this should work. But if you continue to do that which is not working, that just makes you a crazy person because you already know it doesn't work. Since we have been talking about uh, Mr. Moore's relationship to the children, I do have a video from one of your children to talk about how she feels about what's going on. So I'll ask you to turn and take a look. So if I could give any advice to my mom, it would be that, you know, I don't feel like you should jump into anything. I feel like, you know, Keontae is a great guy. He's not, he's not a bad dude. Uh, we all love him just, you know, just as much as you do. But I feel like you did jump into him just a little too soon. And I feel like, you know, you don't have to settle for anything less than you deserve. Not saying that he's, you know, anything less of a person. I'm just saying, you know, you deserve a lot more. I'm not altogether sure what that meant. No, I'm like, what's she not seeing? How do you think she feels about the way he interacts with them? Uh, I could pretty much say she thinks he's crazy. Or than me, because I'm mm -hmm. crazy, but he's a little bit crazier than I am. He's, he's just chaotic. He, he argues about everything. Nothing is a discussion. It's always well, a fight. Give me one of the, the craziest things he's argued about. Well, he's all over the place. So I cook every day. Mm -hmm. We eat as a family, and we pray as a family. Um, Keontae goes from I'm fasting to I just don't eat red meat to I don't eat bread. Mm -hmm. So when I'm cooking, cooking the meals each day, he doesn't say anything. I'm done cooking, and I, I give him his, I serve him his plate first. I give him his plate, and he looks at it, and he's like, you know I don't eat meat. I'm like, well, yesterday you weren't eating anything. Right, so right, you, right, I, right, I, right. I don't right, know right, what right, you do. Right, right. <laughs> Mr. Moore, is that accurate? And she just don't listen to me. She never I remembers what I say to her. Uh, and I'll, and then I have to relay it to her. Mama's and at after relaying it to her, I'm already a little frustrated. I'm, yeah. I'm quick to a little irritation. This is what I say to the 24-year-old in my house who looks at my food funny. This is not a restaurant. You want to go to one, go. Well, I this is what's for dinner. Way. Period. End of story. Dump it right in his lap. There, there it is. I really don't right. even care if he eat no more. Okay. You asked for $115 for a bedroom door replacement. I'm not going to give you any money because I don't think you're going to leave him. But I would what? like to know what he did to the door. Well, we were um, having a petty argument. Don't even remember what it was about. It's, it could be something any, really minute. And Boston he went from zero pop. to 17,000 in 15 seconds. I left home and came back five times and he was still mad. So one of, his, one of the times he was in the bathroom yelling, I'm like, what are you mad about? You know what I'm mad about? And he punched a hole in the door. Now we got a litter. Well, I got a litter. I don't know if I'm... Right, yeah. Did you do that? My, yeah, my I, she was deposit. provoking me. She just kept talking and talking and talking about it, just bothering me. But now I talk to and, 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 Yeah, uh -huh. you love to talk.
here's what I got to say about this entire matter. I said, you know, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with marrying younger men. I think women are being successful nowadays, and we can get pick and choose, and we like some young thing over there. We should be able to have them. I don't think that it's necessary. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary that we always have to be the younger party and all of that. Right. However, there are some caveats with that. Number one, you cannot expect them to be older than they, than they are. And, and everybody get mad at me if they want to, but at 24, they're not as mature as we are at 24. Right. We are able to suppress what we need in order to honor and assist other people easier than men do because we, we, we're, we're natural born nurturers, our egos, which is nothing but an emotion, uh, how they feel about how other people, how other people feel about them. They got all that emotional crap in their way, so they can't level up like we do uh, in new circumstances. Though you can't expect him to level up quickly, you can assist him in so doing and not be mad about where he is, but assist him in becoming, becoming grown. Because you picked, no, 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 you picked him. You picked, you, you picked, picked him. Me. You picked. And he married a, you a he grown married woman. His instructor hey, and don't listen. Be hey, 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 listen. A lot of guys said thought they picked me. <laughs> <laughs> I picked I picked the one I wanted. He ain't got nothing to do with right. the ones that lined up. It's the one that it's the one I like that that I get. Now, you wanted to get married, Mr. Moore. Mm -hmm. You have to act like a grown man. You have to understand. Boom. <laughs> that you took on a role, you volunteered for this role. So you can't go into it thinking I can satisfy all my needs in the same manner in which I did as a single person. You have to acknowledge that you are young. You have to acknowledge that you're immature, which requires you to take a beat between what you feel and what you do to get the 24 out of the way so you can put the husband in its place. And that's what you have to understand. You are not those children's fathers. What you are, they didn't pick you, she did. What, what you are when you come in like that is an occupying force. They don't need an occupying force. You have to allow her to be the lead and the discipline. You are not in a position to do that. That's just the way it is. You can say what it is you have to say, and if aggression don't work, which it clearly isn't doing, stop doing it. You think aggression should work, I'm the man of the house and this should work, mm -hmm. but if you continue to do that which is not working, that just makes you a crazy person because you already know it doesn't work. That's because your ego can't come first. You have to replace it with husband. Mm -hmm. And you have to say, ah, this feels right, but it is not accomplishing what I need. You got me? Yes, yes. I, and it had nothing to do with your age. That's just dudes. Um, I don't think you're leaving one another. You shouldn't uh, pop that hole in the door, but you ain't leaving one another, so I'm not granting you anything. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Judge, this is the case of enough is enough. Based on what I've seen in their paperwork, we are in for a lot of anger, derision, upset, and fussing. Let's see if I can get down to matters. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Dwight Hall versus Roxy Hall. The two of you have been together five years, married for two. You do not want to be married anymore. Mr. Hall, you are seeking $1,760 uh, from your wife as you go for lost wages. We will discuss that momentarily, but before we do, Mr. Hall, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today? Well, Roxy proposed to me, and now I'm proposing divorce. Uh, well, that was clear. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Roxy's very controlling. Uh -huh. she, she controls 
me at work and everything. Uh, a time, How does she control you at work? Uh, she actually follows me to work. And um, <laughs> one time, she followed me to work and to keep from, to actually see what I'm doing and where I'm at. And instead of going home, she actually used the restroom in the car to stop from going home and to be at work with me. She's also, she's also very controlling. She, um... Well, that was a good enough story right there. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, Ms. Hall, did you follow the man to work and was so busy spying on him, you couldn't leave the car to go to the bathroom, so you used it in the car? That's not what happened. That's very not true. Yes, it is. It did what, happen. Hang on. What, what, what do you say happened, Mrs. Hall? What happened was I was being overly concerned about my husband in the transportation with a car that was running hot at that time. Oh, man, you were concerned. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so you were concerned about his car operating well. Go right. ahead. Right. I was concerned about the car operating well. Uh, just making ma'am, sure... Ma'am. Stop. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Just making sure he got there safely, nothing happened, the car didn't blow up. At that time, we only had one phone. Uh, at that time, I wasn't working. Uh, I just had Ma'am, the time. I... Hey, you mean to tell me <laughs> that this huge brother over here <laughs> did not believe he had the capacity to, to get to work safely on his own if you weren't working behind him in your car. Is this is what you want me to believe? My husband is extremely disrespectful to me. No, if you're changing just... the subject. Did you... <laughs> yes, ma'am, ma'am. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to get to what I want to get to. Yes, ma'am. Did you go to the bathroom in the car? Unfortunately, I, did. I have a condition. <laughs> Ma'am, she always uses... Everything is a condition with her. Everything is always... It's an excuse so for everything. So how long were you observing him from your car? I wasn't observing him from my car. He, he went into work. Well, what were you doing? What were you doing in the car? Hey, hey, hey. What were you doing in the car when you had to use the bathroom on yourself? Well, I was waiting for him to come out. I was telling him I had what I had to do. Stop! I was telling him what I had to do. I needed the key so I can go where I needed to go. And I didn't use it in the car. I ma'am, went out the car and used what I needed to... Work, I took care of myself. Work. Yes, I, I took care of myself like a proper young woman does. Going to the bushes like a proper young yeah, woman. I, I mean, in that you. type of environment, that condition, I, I mean, he didn't allow me to go to the restroom inside his job. They were working overnight. I couldn't use it there. So I knew well, what I had to do. he already made it to his job, so he, you knew he made it there safely. What, you, what were you sitting there for? Right. But, well, we, at that time, we were she didn't want to drive minutes. home. She didn't... She could have stayed at home. I don't drive at We night. all know what happened. We all know what I happened. I don't drive at night. Give uh, me another, another control another story. Is, um, I was being reinstated on parole, and I was going to get out of... I was going to get out, and I gave him my original address, and it was denied. I gave him the address to my mother's house. It was denied. And then I thought to give her her address, in which it was accepted. She went behind my back to my parole officer and had him changed my address to hers. And it was in another city. Did you go to his parole officer behind his back and change his address? No, I did not. That was a conversation we had through letter. I don't know if he was just talking, running a game to me, but uh, that's what we discussed, and he knew that. How can I run games what, what did, did you talk to his parole officer yes, personally? Did. Yes, Without him Ma'am. there? He was incarcerated. When I was getting released... None of my former addresses in which I've used... I got you. I understand, I understand what uh, happened. I understand another what happened. Another instance... No, go ahead, go yes, ahead. Yes, ma'am. Another instance is uh, I actually have to stay up with her after work. She controls me so much, I have to stay up. I have to run errands for her, be attentive to her. Stop. And that had... Due to those situations, I took a bunch of five-hour energies, a bunch of coffee, <laughs> a bunch of everything to stay up. I couldn't even make it to work. I had to pull over, call my job, Tell him I, I, I can't make it to work. I had to quit my job. It, it hurt me so bad that I even called my mother. It broke me down on the side of the highway, and I'm sick of it. M- M- Mrs. Hall, do you, do you make him attend to you at all times when he's home, so much so that he can't sleep so he can go to work? I deserve respect. And if my husband just listens to me, <laughs> we'll be off in a better that. position. <laughs> Well, what does he need? What does it... You say he needs to man up, and you say he doesn't listen to you. Give me some examples of in the manner in which he needs to man up or something he doesn't listen to. For one time, we were talking about me writing a book called Get Your Spirit Up. I'm writing an autobiography Ooh. right now. Stop. 
I'm writing an autobiography, autobiography right now called Get Your Spirit Up based on me overcoming anxiety and depression. I currently suffer with strabismus. Stop. What's the definition is right here on the screen here. And I talk to my husband about ideas and just what I have. And he always come back and criticize me. I'm dealing with a critic and not a supportive husband. Oh, a Doesn't critic will be the one who gives you ideas to help you out, but they're turned you, down and then I'm the one that's criticizing you her. You talk about other Ma'am, people there's have an that. Hey, 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 hang on. Hang on, hang on. All I want to know, <laughs> all I'm looking to get here is for you to tell me what he needs to man up about. I asked her to get a job. So upon that, that led to argument all day. Uh, it, it goes outside. She gets mad, she screams, she rolls on the ground. Uh, one, on, one, instant, one instance, one instance, she actually got dog. mad at me and punched out the window <laughs> in our house. Mrs. Hall, did that happen? Uh, my husband caused panic attacks in my life. I had to go to therapy. I asked my husband to come with me what to therapy. What therapy have you been to? I asked my husband to come with me to therapy that you said Where was I at when this happened? And ignored me. Uh, I was once prescribed medication, but I come to find Wish out that I do, I do better with therapy. I do better with conversation, explaining myself, But he came to therapy feelings. with you. No, he did I, I came, I listened to it. They prescribed her medication. Then she would not go get the medication. He sat there carelessly. He sat there carelessly, not listening. I asked him, do you understand it? Do you understand why I have mental breakdowns? Do you understand why this is happening? Just sit there careless. I don't know, sugar's head. Just careless about what I go through. Well, what would you what would you like him to do that he's not doing? Ask questions, be attentive to me. I deserve respect. I need respect from him. Ma'am, I ask her questions when she doesn't want to. You say he can't hold down a job. Is that true? How many jobs has he had in the two years you've been married? Not as many as her. If That's you <laughs> interrupt me again, I'm gonna sit you down right in that chair yes, over sit there. Sit down. Yes. Just tell him. <laughs> How many jobs has he had since you two been married? Maybe three or four. Three or four. So he seems to always get a job. He's... Not like me though. I'm a go getter. I just I, I just uh, quit no. another job Monday. Had another job Tuesday. That's what I do. I'm a go getter. I hustle oh, a lot. And then man. I used to hustle for my husband. I put him in oh. positions. So I put my husband in positions <laughs> to go get the job. I fill out applications. I fill out the resumes. Yeah. I do what I have to do. Let to me ask him. you a question, and I, and, and, and I do so at my own peril, but <clears throat> you say you've actually had 12-hour-long arguments yes, with ma'am. Mrs. Hall. Uh, Without interruption, please tell me, give me an example of okay, that. Okay, an example of that is, oh, uh, we had a disagreement about money issues, I asked her to get a job. And she, she uses her conditions, as crutches, as to not have the job. So upon that, that led to arguing all day. Uh, it, it goes outside. She gets mad, she screams, she rolls on the ground. Uh, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> instance, one instance, she <laughs> actually got <laughs> mad at me and punched out the window <laughs> in our house. She punched out the apartment window and had to go get stitches. Mrs. Hall, what? did that happen? The neighbors, uh, one, at our first apartment together, the neighbors had to come over after quiet? hours of converse, after hours of screaming. They come and knock on the door and ask me. You mean the They, they told me that, that they were going to me? call the laws and have her removed from the apartment complex. So I told my neighbors, that's <laughs> my wife. Please don't. I had to beg all of my neighbors don't not to Don't call the police. Her. Exactly. Judge, you did don't you have a marriage did, license? Did, did you put the... You what? We don't have a marriage <laughs> She burnt up the marriage we license. We are legally married, but we she don't have a marriage license today. She crumbled it Why up and burnt it up. What license? happened to it? You burned it up? Is, is he right? Did you, well, did yeah, you light it up? Well, she crumbled it up and burnt it up. I burnt it up. Well, what She crumbled it up, well, and then she burnt it up. My husband likes to walk away from me as if I'm his girlfriend. We're not married. None of that. I walk away from the 12-hour so, tantrums and fights. So, I... I and it, did it you goes roll into around the street. on the ground? No, no, man. Oh, I, balled, man. I balled up did my you, marriage license. Did you put we, your fist through the window? Unfortunately. <laughs> we were in the apartment. We were having an argument in the bedroom. And upon me going to leave out the door, she throws a knife oh bam, God, into the wall. I left the knife in the wall for two days before I even pulled it out. Did any of that th stuff happen?
What's he doing to you? Disrespectful. Disrespectful to me every day, all day. He call me names. What kind of names does oh, he call man. you? Oh! Every, every time we get into an argument, my new names are bitches and hoes. Then That's she gets me. Bitches and hoes. He then walks she away mocks from me. Everything I say. An instance of this is if I say, okay, well, you're being disrespectful to me. No, you're being disrespectful to me. And it because goes back and forth. Now, and that's what you're turns into the 12 hour arguments. And I try to walk away from her to de escalate the situation. Tell me about the time with the hammer. Okay, a it hammer. was actually a knife. We were in the apartment. We were having an argument in the bedroom. And upon me going to leave out the door, she throws a knife, bam, oh God, into the wall. That. I left the knife in the wall for two days before I even pulled it out. Sir! She's turned over all the furniture in the house. I just didn't even care. I just said, okay, sir, well, you for a week, I just left it there until I decided to clean no, it up. Sir. Okay, hang on then. No, now, Mrs. Sir. Hall, did any of that th stuff happen? I didn't remember that till just now. <laughs> but you did do it. I, I we're dealing yeah. with my husband. Uh, I have a lot. Stop. Stop. I have a lot of mental breakdowns with my husband. Which you keep I, saying I, mental breakdowns. Tell me specifically something he's done to you that is so yes, disrespectful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. He caused the anxiety attack after he threw my clothes outside. I was going through a situation where I need medical care. I was doing with a, with a program that required me to have low income to no income. And that, and since I'm married, my husband had to also follow that. Anyway, you, 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 were, you, were, you were striving I towards was striving, no income. So I, I, so I got the program which, where I need. Which, you know. I, I Go got, ahead. I got on the program, which I needed, thank God. I went to the doctors. You wanted him not to work. Yes, yes. So you could present to the government that you didn't have any income but so you could get on this program. Is that, what, is that what I got? Uh, yes. I, I mean, I'm in extreme amount of pain. I needed, I needed the assistance immediately. This is a critical condition in my yeah. life. So I had to mm -hmm. accept any kind of help that I could, right. which I was on top of, which I got I you. I got you. I got you. Mr. Mr. Hall, what do you have yes, to say about that? Uh, these arguments with her have also led to my clothes being ripped off, me spending nights outside, me being hit, she argues alone. I don't even have to be she there. She argues alone. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have came back to our home and everyone, I've even heard her, and the neighbors I hear her. Stop. And, they, and they come to me and they're like, oh, we thought she was arguing with you. You're not even up there. <laughs> I, I haven't been here in hours. She's still arguing and screaming about me and I'm not even there. Are you arguing no, and screaming I'm on the at phone home? talking to my loved ones, explaining them the hurt and trauma that I'm experiencing. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Lies! Mr. Hall, you want $1,760 for lost wages. Explain that to me, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. I just got this job doing highway construction in which the job was intended so we could move on and, and, and advance in life. Well, she goes in my phone. She, she sees a, a text from my supervisor. So at that point in time, we discuss how we both gonna get to work because we had one vehicle. Okay, she says, okay, Uber. I, we talk about it, I agree with it. Then she says, okay, well, I can't do that anymore. She, does, she quits her job, follows me over 180 miles because it was too far for me to be going alone. That's Pro not man, true. It was too far up. for me to go to work. So then <laughs> when I get there, I have to check in so she can have somewhere to be. Well, after I get off of work, here it is. I have to argue with her because now she has nowhere to be. So now I have to drive her back 200 miles home and I lose my job. Ms. Hall, did that happen? Not the way you say it, it does. Oh, okay. Well, you tell me how it happened. <laughs> During that time, I, had, I was on bereavement leave. I lost my mother. At that time, my husband just got a job during my bereavement. How can you take on a construction job that requires you to travel? We only have one vehicle while I'm doing, Maybe. while I'm on my bereavement leave. I, asked, I was expecting my husband to support me uh, if, if he was going to get that job, support me with telling me, hey, baby, you don't have to work. I understand what you're going yeah, through. Lost your but mother. Got a but isn't that what getting a job is? Support? Yeah. yeah. yeah right. I, I've supported her every, everywhere with jobs. I, got I, am, I, I, I am working as well. You just want me to stop working while you go off and do whatever? I, got, I, 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 I have a relative uh, work. I was going to say, hey, stop, stop. Usually at this point say, I understand what's going on here. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I think. And then I'm gonna run.
You want to know something? I don't care what condition you have. The cortisol and the adrenaline that pulls up in your body when you are angry makes it worse. I'm just telling you, stress will kill you. I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And your stress is killing him, and it's about to kill me. <laughs> what you need to do is calm down. If you can't take... Eight jobs, harassment, and, 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 and uh, what is it, abuse or whatever? Come on. You don't like taking orders. You don't know how to you don't know how to relax. You don't know how to not get your way sometimes. If I was you don't led know what in a way. Oh uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm telling you what it is. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Hall. Yes, ma'am. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> uh I can't give you that money because it was decisions that you made. Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? You made a decision to, do, to take this job and this place, and you knew she was kind of hot yeah. out there, and, and she was going through a thing. I can't say she is monetarily and fiscally responsible for that decision that you made. I understand why you made it, and it was her fault, but it's not something I can reward you for. Yes. Let, me, let, me, let, 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 let me say this. Uh, this man has a record, and this man's trying to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This man's trying to do the right thing. Either you can be some peace in his ear, or you can be a place in his past. Mm -hmm. And I think that he deserves better than what you've given him. <laughs> you can't harp a man into loving you. You can't anger him into making you feel good when you don't feel good about yourself. God bless you in your distance and your journey without this woman. I don't think she's going to let you leave quietly either. Oh. I think you're going to have to run. But, uh, <laughs> Ms. Hall, you're probably not a bad person at all, but you get stuck on the wrong stuck, you stay stuck, and then you can't get unstuck, and the next thing you know, the only thing you lost is him. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Thank you. How do we move forward uh, after leaving here? I am a person and not a problem. Uh, I'm going to continue to work on my marriage. I'm not leaving my husband. I've tried. I've gave him my all. I'm, I mean, I've heard this line a million times before. I'm just not up for it anymore, man. I'm, I'm adamant about getting a divorce, so that's what I'm going to pursue. Judge, this is the case of Old Town Road. Thank you, Nate. Money, it is a major problem in a lot of relationships. When what's going out is more than what's coming in, it causes stress, stress causes arguments, which causes people to come see me. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jennifer Beam and Josh Futch. You two have been together for six years. You have one child between the two of you. Ms. Futch, you say he is a financial disaster and you're seeking $2,500 for a variety of items. Um, we're going to talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Ms. Beam, I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your union and why you're here today. Basically, it's just like every day I wake up and I ask myself, what am I going to lose next? Um, we have lost everything in the period of two months. Um, you know, he, a year ago when I lost my job, he told me that he wanted me to stay home. I homeschool the kids, mm -hmm. so he wanted me to stay home and to be able to do that, mm -hmm. um, you know? And so he promised me that he had it. Um, so the whole year went by, I thought everything was fine. Within the period of one week, I found out that he was $1,000 behind on everything. The electric, the, the, the internet, the cable, the phone, everything. Yeah. We ended up getting evicted from our home I didn't even know we were past due on the rent. Um, this all happened within the period of one week. And then we ended up in what we're in now, which is a tiny house. Uh -huh. um, and I have a video of that uh, to show you okay. and a picture. Now, how many kids do you have with you? 
I have three children. I have the two that I brought to the relationship and then the one that I have with him. And they're all living together with you? We all live together. In that? Yes, ma'am, in that. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, he's got the bathroom in the front, which um, is not completed. It's usable, but it's not completed. It's outside of the house? He built in it a, on. In a little, he built, built it, on. it on. Oh, I got you. Built it on. We needed more room, so he built it on. And then the inside, you know, I mean, both lofts are big enough, but I mean, you know, the stove and the oven doesn't work. So I cook out of the toaster oven and the microwave. Um, you know, I mean, the floor needs to be completed. It's not insulated all around. Um, you know, it's just, it's just so many things that need to get done. And every project that he starts, he never completes if yeah, he ever starts them no. in the first place. Mr. Futch, what do you have to say, sir? I, I work six days a week. Uh -huh. I only have one day off. I, I, I bust my butt to make sure everything's done. I mean, I, I come home, I, I try and get as much done as I can when I'm home after work. I don't have that much time. Mm -hmm. The only day I have off is Sunday, and I try to spend it with her and the kids, but I mean. Yeah, but I mean, we could, spend like it, we could spend it together doing something like finishing some of these projects around the house. Right. I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, these things need to get done. We can't live like this anymore. Well, Mr. Fudge, let me ask you this. She claims that within a week uh, of you taking over the finances, everything collapsed. Do, do you agree with that, or do no, you have no, a different because... vision of what happened? No, because she was out of work for, it was a year we mm -hmm. lived there with just me working. I mean, it wasn't. No. It, it wasn't. Hang on, let him finish. It, it wasn't that much, that short of time. I, I did most of it by myself. It's just that, like, I didn't have enough to pay everything all at once, so I would just pay what I could to keep the stuff on, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then I had some problems with the job I was at, and things got yeah, but you chaotic, didn't... and I had, to, I had to leave there. And that's when things got really out of hand. So, yeah. so, so what, do, what do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, our cell phone was shut off. And he told me that we only owed $125. I called. It turns out he's no. $600 behind. And he's only made three payments since the thing was turned on in the first place. Um, the electricity. Um, you know, I, I've worked the entire relationship. And usually I was the one that took care of the bills. Um, yeah. But the... Huh. What, 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 what? It, 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 it was 150 to get the phone turned back on. It was not $150. But, but See, he tells me that the lied to him. That's be, what he it's says. It's only because they turned it off. If I come up with the 150 they would turn the phones back on. Uh -huh. But it had to be done with a certain amount of time or it voided the contract, and then I would have to pay the full amount. He full told amount. me And I didn't have it in time to do that, so you it had to turned pay the full out to be amount. 600 I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I'll just be straight up with you. I don't believe a word of it. I specifically... She don't believe anything I say. Well, no, because, I, because, uh, because he has a bad track record. I mean, you know, you trust people just about this far, and then when they show you that, they, that, that, that they're not deserving of that, then mm. obviously you're not going to trust them anymore. I mean, you know, and that's where I'm at with him. I mean, you know, I have, try... to, I have to call. I have to check on him all the time. I have to make sure what he's telling me is true. I have to make sure his story makes sense. I mean, the electric. The electric. I mean, the situation that we're in right now, um, it's, it's, the electric's already set up in someone else's name, a family member name and it's pay by the day and so he'll go he'll put 20 bucks on on Monday you know I mean and by Wednesday it's shut off so around 11 o'clock I'm in there on the computer doing stuff with yeah, the kids but, all of a sudden everything shuts down. She'll call me and say the, the electric's off and within 30 minutes to an hour I got it back on. Right but it's, it's not. Just, it, it, it's a pay as you go. It's not a so matter. So I put on there what I can and then. It's not a matter of I understand. But there's that other you, stuff we got to get to. You too, take I mean. care of it after the fact but you need to think about it beforehand. You need to think about how everything is supposed to be paid beforehand. Well, Mr. Fletch, that leads me to, the, uh, to another question, the one that you raised in your paper, is that your communication with Ms. Beam is just simply non non-existent or no. ineffective. Why don't no. you tell me why you say that? Because, like, um, she called me the other day, asked me to bring some stuff home for her, so I picked up some stuff, and I got some dish soap, and it was the wrong kind. She wanted a different kind. So I, I just explained to her, the last time I got it, I got the kind you wanted, and you weren't happy with that either. And then she went into this whole thing. She, you don't she gets listen. very angry. Yeah, and I get angry because yell, you frustrate the out of me. You don't ever listen. And then, Watch the language. Watch sorry, the language. Sorry. And then uh -huh. I just shut down like that. I just shut down. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to hear no more. And then she goes into, He's you don't ever listen to me. Mm. You don't, I, I, I don't, all you're doing is screaming. You know, I don't want to. Does he not listen? He, he, you can get this far with him, and then right. there's a wall. 
that right. gets built up. And I think it's a defense mechanism, maybe. He doesn't want to hear it. He feels like he's not getting enough affection in the relationship right now. And it's and it's because I don't, I don't yeah. have any kind of connection with him. You know, like, I don't feel like he's taking care of his I'll, business. So I'll I don't feel attracted to him. And come in and give her a hug and try and kiss her. And she'll push me away and say... I ain't got time for a hug right now. If I got time, I'll give well, you one later. Well, I got three kids. I got, I got stuff to I do. Never, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, you like, got time for a hug. I don't got yeah. time for it a hug. It takes a nanosecond. Oh, we'll, we'll sit down. Don't sell me that. <laughs> we'll sit down on the couch at night to watch a movie. I want to snuggle up with her. And don't put your arm around me. Don't. You can sit next to me, but don't. Don't get too close. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't say that. that. You can what? sit next to me, but yeah, don't yeah. get too close. Yeah, yeah. You don't, say don't that. Don't me. I don't know. I told him I did not want to scrap at, at the, the car. At the time, we needed the money, so it was, it was $140 the, and, right. as opposed to just putting a new motor in the car and having a car. And there was a lot you more. didn't have it. He needed the 140. You don't have electricity. You got toilet outside and all that kind of stuff. Well, and you want him home. to put a new motor in the car, no, but, but there's no electricity in the house. going on. I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, I just feel like he's just, you know what I mean? Like, it used to be there, you know? I don't know where it went. I still love him. I mm -hmm. love him with every ounce of me, but he's just, he's irresponsible, mm -hmm. you know? Like, like there are things that I want him to do. I have three horses, and I have just a little barn, just a tiny little barn out back. I know, I have a lot of, a lot of ridiculous responsibilities, and I have no money, but I thought everything was fine <laughs> a year ago, you know? Yeah, I thought be. everything was fine. <laughs> so anyway, these three horses kind of just fell into my lap. Anyway, anyway, so oh, I horses have don't fall yeah. on your lap. <laughs> they did. Yeah, that, that goes back into the back into the thing of me getting stuff done because when when I get home from work, that's what she, I take over the kids and she goes out and does the horses. So I, I mean, don't see anything the, wrong the only with that. Time I really Mr. Have time, Mr. Futch, I'm beginning to see the light. <laughs> I'm starting to see <laughs> your point of view. So the only Why? Time I got to starting to see that. You say she's angry all the time. Is uh, that true uh, or is that just... It? Every once in a while we'll have a good time. See, that that goes back into it too. She can't... I don't think she can let things go. Like, she'll get mad, like, say, for the, the electric. Like, we'll be having a good day. Everything will be going fine. We'll be talking, joking, laughing. And then, I don't know what will trigger it, but she'll go right back into the... being mad about the electric. It's because it's... it's... And then... And then 20 minutes after we're done fighting, everything goes back to normal, and then she'll go right it's back into I'm it. It's because I'm trying. Just... I'm trying. You know, mm -hmm. I am trying to departmentalize all of my feelings. I'm trying to... I know he made this mistake, and I know it's a huge mistake. I get it. You know, I mean, a lot of girls would have left him, you know, mm -hmm. but you see there are good points about him, and, and he can do this, you know, but he needs to communicate with me. He needs to talk to me. You know, I've struggled my whole life. I've had to... I have no, no we'll family. It's just me and my kids, yell, and I've always screen. had to survive. So, I mean, I can put in my two cents. I can help him, but he doesn't come to me. It's all a secret. Does he not come to you because he knows what's going to come at him once he yes. does? Yes. 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 And that is a problem. I know that's a problem. I mean, like, the big thing with me, you know, uh, right now what's aggravating me, not the most, but I, <laughs> it's aggravating me on the list, you know, the fence that we have around where we have the barn, mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he, every single day, I'm going to do it, 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 and it just never gets done. And it's the same way with everything else. So, okay, I mean, like, this will just show you, that's where the horses are at there, and then this is all stuff like the, 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 that's all broken right there. Is this property you rent? No, this is family-owned property that we're parked on. And see, all that, that all needs to be fixed. That that post was falling uh -huh, down. The horses uh -huh. can't be in certain areas. You can't have barbed wire with horses. Yeah. It all needs to be fixed. Like, like I said, I work I work six days a week. I have I have one day off. When I get home, she goes out with the horses. I, I don't really have time except for on Sunday. And I, I don't mind doing it. I'll do a little bit on Sunday, but I don't want to spend my whole day There's one last thing on I want to no, talk about. Uh, you say... He's disrespectful because you he threw your dog away without your permission. That is absolutely what See, broke my heart the most. Tell me what happened. Well, I, you know, I had this dog for eight years. Eight years. Bought her as a puppy, put clothes on her and stuff. I mean, you know, that's... I mean, you know, and she meant so oh, much is he, to me. Oh, is he ter bull terrier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she's a mix, yeah. Yeah. Mix. Oh, I got one. And I mean, like she just it. meant so much to me. You know, she was my ride or die. She was with me through everything, okay? Yeah, I, I and what, what he do? What he do? Yeah. What I have to say to you is this. What you doing with three horses living in a shed? <laughs> horses are expensive.
They got to eat. They have to have vet bills. They have to be, their feet have to be taken care of. They have to have all that kind of stuff. And you got some horses. What's up with that? What happened was, I was at the hospital having his baby, and I left his in charge of the dog. I mean, she was tied up outside, whatever. I guess apparently she was screaming and crying, so he told them to take her, pack her up in the car, and just drop her off. And so that's what they did. They packed her up in the back of the car, and they just dropped her off in the middle of nowhere. Mr. Mr. Futz, do you have a response to that? That's a little I, cold. I take full responsibility for that. I did do that. She was pregnant. She was complaining, you know, the dog complaining was starting to stink. And <laughs> Oh my Using God, really? It was an old dog, it was getting old. Oh, oh so yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, yeah. She was stressed out and I, I did that. I yeah. thought it was... That, you know, that's I something that requires a, convers that a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it, it requires a conversation and a decision. She's kind of got to be led into, you know, it's yeah. time to let him go because we're just not in a position to care for him, that yeah, kind I take, of thing. I take full responsibility. You understand why he did was, it, though? He didn't do decision. it to hurt you. Well, yeah, but uh, this is my problem, though. When I came home from the hospital, I didn't know where the dog was at, obviously. So I'm standing out in the driveway right. calling her name. He's telling me, oh, she's probably just at a neighbor's house. She'll be back. They no, lied to me about yes, it. I did. I, no, I did you didn't. Tell her right it. away. So I got yeah, it. I got I it. I got fine. it. So, Ms. Beam, you're seeking $2,500, one for the value of a car and the place for the car. Tell me what you what you're talking about here. Okay. Well, uh, when I, you know, I was an independent single mother when I came into this relationship, right? And I had a car. And so, but I didn't really maintain it quite so well, so the motor was starting to tap, and, uh, you know, he's a mechanic. He could have mm -hmm. easily fixed it. But, you know, he let it go. And, I mean, you know, it's not much. It was just all I had. And so, I mean, I bought it, you know, with money that I, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, it's so a his mother, sin it's is not fixing the car that you didn't take he's care of. He's not fixing, well, no, not, well, that. <laughs> but um, the motor finally went in it. I told him we could just replace it. Wouldn't be that expensive to buy a new motor. And instead, he decided to scrap it. Mm -hmm. I told him I did not want to at, scrap at the, the car. At the time, we needed the money, so it was It was $140, uh, yeah. as opposed to just putting a new motor in the car and having a car. And there was a also, lot more. You didn't have a, you, he needed the 140 You don't have a leg. Electricity, you got toilet outside, all that kind of stuff. Well, and you want him to put a new motor in the car, no, but, this, but there's no electricity in the house. This was back before all that. Uh, this was back. Well, how long ago was it? This was um, About three years four ago. years ago. Oh, let me tell you what. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, the Florida plates, how it works in Florida is if you have a car and you have plates on it, you keep those plates and then you buy a new car and you put those plates on that car. If you don't have plates and you buy a car, you, you have to buy pay, more it's like plates. $500. I gotcha. You know, so now I'm in that position where I got to pay that money plus buy a new car. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. and I feel like no, we he almost kind of subconscious. Off the car. She just mm -hmm. don't remember where we put them. I, I well, take that's the not what you told me before. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got to Okay. You have them. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's what happened. Let, 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 me, let me say a few things. Number one, you're not getting any money. Okay. The doctrine of latches, this was three years ago, you know. Uh, he's not responsible for the fact that you didn't take care of the car. And uh, you were relying him on to making financial decisions. You guys were in it to win it together and whatever. And, you, and he did take the plates off the car and can't find him. And I can see, I saw the mess that's going on over there. I, I believe he can't find him. <laughs>yourself in a situation in which finances are going to perpetually be a problem because you made a decision to stay at home, which, by the way, is perfectly reasonable under your circumstances, given the number of children that you have and the fact that you do have one that, that needs special attention. And I get that, and I'm never mad about that decision. But what I have to say to you is this. What you doing with three horses living in a shed? <laughs> horses are expensive. They got to eat, they have to have vet bills, they have to be, their feet have to be taken care of, they have to have all that kind of stuff, and you got some horses. What's up with that? Well, I had them before I knew that we... And when stuff gets shaky, you sell them. And you use that money to put linoleum on the floor, whatever they put on the floor these days, get a bath, you know, people, you, you can't have everything you want and then complain about not having what you need. Understood. Horses are discretionary. Horses are fun.
fun. Horses are lovely, but horses are very, very expensive. You have to help this man maintain this household. When you've made the decision to stay home, that also includes the decision to marshal your money in a way that best allows you to continue to stay there. And that's not what you're doing. That's number one. Number two, I don't think he's... I didn't get any information that would seem to indicate my man is taking his money and, and flailing it about around town with the hookers or the holes or nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> he, he, he brings home what he has and says, here it is. Let's do the best that we can with it. In order to, con to, to encourage consistent and constant communication about the situation that you happen to be in, you've got to be able to receive that information without going crazy. You know what I'm saying? He's doing the best he can. You know? And if he knows that he's going to run into a whole lot of static when he shares it, what he's going to do is borrow from Peter to pay Paul, put a little on this, put a little on this, to keep you and the horsies quiet. <laughs> if you don't like your financial situation, you be a part of the solution. And that, and that solution involves giving up some of the things that you want and enjoy in order to help him supply you with the things that you need. That's it. That's right. There'll be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Can this work? Can you guys stay together and make this work? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely. I love him way too much to just break up and, you know, forget about the last six years. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we can communicate with each other, which is key. I mean, that's... If you can't talk to each other, you don't have anything. Judge, this is the case of once a cheater, always a cheater. Thanks, Nick. In this folder, I got a young couple, a young baby, other baby mama drama, and dating apps. Gee, I wonder what went wrong. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Devontae Beal and Alyssa Watson. The two of you have been together for three years, and you have a seven-month-old child together. Mr. Beal, uh, why don't you tell me why we're here today? Uh, Your Honor, I feel like um, in this relationship, I get accused of cheating and messing around so much that sometimes I feel like I should do it if I'm gonna catch the consequences for it anyway. Um, why does she think you're cheating? Because I've cheated in the past. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I cheated in the past. I'm human. Uh, we make mistakes, male and female. Um, but I, I, over the course of our relationship, the last two years, I've been getting myself together. Um, so far, so good. Uh, <laughs> so far, so good. That's scary right there. So far, so good. Because uh, like I said, we're human. We make mistakes. Uh -huh. but, um, I'm learning every day, and I'm doing what I got to do uh, to get it right in the relationship. Now, Ms. Watson, do you believe that he is, in fact, a changed and better man? Um, I honestly do not know, because recently I just had my son, who's seven months, years old, seven, uh, months old, uh -huh. and I was put in the hospital after um, for shingles, and um, I went through his phone, and I seen that he was at his ex's house, at 2 in the morning. Now, you would think that something is wrong with that if your boyfriend or your husband is at some, your, okay. his ex's house at 2 in the morning. With the ex at 2 a.m.? That's, that's a little sketchy. All right. Well, let me go ahead and clear it up, because I know how it may look. But it was innocent. Trust me. Now... <laughs> that's what he said, me, but... It was that's what he said. Now, my ex, you know, around the neighborhood, have neighborhood friends. I'm good with the neighborhood friends. I was over there partying, But you he know. shouldn't be partying with an ex. I was over there mm -hmm. partying and, and kicking it. And I still it. believe that I... she wants him, so you shouldn't be hanging with her if I'm not around. Do you think that ex still wants you? 
Your Honor, I'm, I'm oh, attractive. You I'm attractive. I'm attractive. He, he does. He I'm does. Attractive. Because he told me, he said, well, I see some of the signs of her dressing skimpy and all this, always wanting me to come around when you're not there. He knows, so I don't know why he's sitting here acting like he doesn't. Now, Your Honor, I, like I said, I'm an attractive fella. Mm -hmm. I understand That's that. That's no excuse. I understand that. So, she's an attractive woman. It's gonna be opposites that attract her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I can stay away from no. I can peep the signs and stay away. I do a good job at no, that. No, because he still goes around when she calls and asks for him to come around. Right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Anything other than this one particular individual that makes you believe that he's doing the wrong thing? Um, I mean, I've seen him, you know, text people on dating apps, trying to meet up. Um, he's texted another ex. Now, it was, it was back in the day. It was at the beginning of the relationship. Yeah. It was back in the day, in the beginning of the relationship. I, I was... I was a dog. I was a dog, Your Honor. Yeah. You know, and every... And he was telling me he was being loyal in, so how, how can I believe it now? You're saying the same thing. Right. So how am I supposed to know it's true? What have you done to demonstrate that you're a changed man? Your Honor, she has passcodes to my phone now. Which means nothing, because I've had it before and I've caught you doing stuff. That now, doesn't mean anything. Now, listen. <laughs> she has passcodes to my phone. She knows where I'm at. She has locations. I don't have your location. She, she's I had, had it before. She's had I don't have it now. I she's used had to locations. have it. He told me I, I, he didn't want me to have it or his password after I had my son. He didn't want me to have it because I caught him at her house at 2 a.m. He didn't want me to have it anymore. He recently just gave it back to me. Mm -hmm. His password, not his location. S so I'm growing. Right, right. We're right. going in the right direction. So, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, you know? I take a little work. I, I, it takes a little time for me to right. get right sometimes. I, I, I got you. Ms. Watson, you say he treats you like an afterthought. Why do you feel like that? Because, like, sometimes I can sit here and I'm trying to talk to him about how I'm feeling if I'm depressed or something, and, like, he'll fall asleep while I'm talking to him, like... <laughs> Your Honor. But you can, be, on, but you can talk to everybody else about their problems. Yeah. Ms. Right. Mr. Bill, what do you have to say about Now, now, now before you answer, I want you, to, I want you to be... Step away from yourself and ask yourself, do I treat her like she's important to me? Your Honor, honestly? Honestly. <laughs> Only honestly. way to go to the courtroom. And buy it, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Your Honor, I treat her, sometimes she gets ignored. Sometimes. She I gets annoyed? It, she gets ignored. Ignored. By me. Yes. Sometimes I catch it sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, I work all day. Yeah. I think he think just if he can buy me stuff that I'm supposed to That's get the end of his obligation. I got you. No. Go ahead. Keep I work going. all day, Your Honor. Uh -huh. I might come home, I deal with my my son that we have. Right. And it gets tiring, you mm -hmm. know? So the times that she wants to talk is almost at night, 9, no, 10 o'clock, and I'm going to sleep. Sometimes he off work, and he'll, go, he'll drive a whole hour to go play basketball with his friends. Yeah. But when you're home, I'm like, That's okay. That's one day out of the week. Okay, and That's then one he day wanted out to week. go work out, but I'm like, okay, I just had a baby. I need to work I out. I need a long time. I need I a long time a long sometimes. Time. I'm home with the baby all the time. I don't get a long time. You're right, but when I come home... When I come home, I help you, too. And then sometimes I'm like, we don't spend enough time with each other. Why can't we go out? Like, make some time for me for us to go out instead of going... Do you make time for her? Is she just the mother of your baby and the woman in your house? Or is she the... Is she, or is she the love of your life? She's the love of my life, Your Honor. Do you demonstrate that? Yes, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. No, sometimes, sometimes I do. He, sometimes he calls me sometimes names. He calls me stupid, dumb, says I need to grow up. And sometimes I say it back to him also, but I'm only gonna say it if you, you know, give me a reason to. I'm not. What's the worst thing he's ever said to you? Calling me the B word. Oh, no. And did, I say it to him too. I'm not gonna lie. I do. When he pisses me off, I say it did, to him also. Do, do you become belligerent when you're angry? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I do. It's not okay. Uh huh. It's not okay at all. But. For Some... no reason at all. Like, I remember we was at his, um, we were at a funeral, and I was pregnant, and he had went to go get something from the gas station, and I told him to get me something to eat. I'm pregnant. I have to eat. Now... He forgot my food, and when I got back, when he got back to the house, um, I was like, where's my food? He forgot my food. So I was crying, and he was like, um, what type of bee are you? Oh, no. 
You are supposed to be supporting me. And I'm like, what do you mean? You forgot my food. Mr. Bill, how do you respond to that allegation? I get so agitated. Everybody's out there having babies. You know, you're able to have a baby, but you don't, you don't level up at all. Right. You know, right. just, oh right. my God. Mr. Bill, how do you respond to that allegation? He can't. I was going through a tough time then he tried losing to a family member. He apologized mm -hmm. after I was going was through a tough her. time with a family member losing another family member. She was pregnant at the time. It's a lot of emotions and stuff that come with that as well. Yes, I didn't bring her food back. That was my fault. My, my head was apologize? everywhere. Did you apologize? Oh, my bad? I'm sorry. After I'm sorry. Was, did you? Oh, did you? Yes. I'm, that's what I'm telling her. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. And what was her response? She cried. So it frustrated me because I, I am sorry. You know, I can go out and go do this for you. I can get it done. But you just sit here and you cry and you just... She didn't cry to upset you. I know. She cried I, because she was upset. And maybe not. No, hush. Hush. Hush, All right. hush. You need to hear some things. Okay. Don't start impregnating people unless you're ready to do so. And you're not ready to do so unless you are able to put how you feel on the back burner for more than five seconds before you lose your mind. She's pregnant with your child. Yeah. With your child. Her hormones are all over the map. Yeah. All she wanted was some food. Ooh, right? You didn't bring it. She cried. She didn't hit you in the head with a lamp. She didn't kick you in the stomach. She cried. And you couldn't be compassionate. Baby, I am so sorry. Let me go get... That's what a grown man yeah. does. Yeah. Yes. Good Lord! Yes. I get so agitated. Everybody's out there having babies. You know, you're able to have a baby, but you don't, you don't level up at all. Right. You know, right. just, oh right. my God. I'm done. Um. But you got something to say. Yes, ma'am. And you're right. I was young-minded at the time. You're well, still young-minded. Yeah. yeah. I always tell I him he needs to grow up. Just like, um, after I had my son, um, you know how people normally give people push gifts after they have a baby? That's new. Yeah. I it didn't know new. about none of that. It's new. I just did my work and went home, but okay. <laughs> right, but I didn't even get a thank you or nothing like that. So I was very upset about it. Because, I mean, I went through a rough pregnancy. No. So at least give me a thank you. To me, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> but it may not be in current day etiquette. It might be appropriate to thank a woman. I mean, it's a, it's a rough job, yeah. baby. Yeah. I should have gotten a thank you. I don't know. Right. But let me ask you this. In general, was he kind and considerate, you know, around the time of the birth and right after the birth? Did he show up? He, he did. didn't have to say something specific and give you something sparkly. He did. Did he show up he and did. care for you? He did. That's all that really counts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be looking at the... Good for you. Yes. Good for you. Thank you. You want to get married. Yeah. What's your conversation around that particular institution? I mean, he says he wants to get married, and I told him basically... Because we're supposed to get our own house soon. And I told him I want to at least be engaged before we move in, in, into a house together. I don't think that anything is wrong with that. But he's saying that he wants to, you know, have money to have a big wedding. But I told him, I said, we can just go to the courthouse, get married, and if we stay together five years, then we can have a big wedding instead of wasting money and we don't know if we're going to be together or not. Ooh, I'm liking you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Beal, do you really want to get married and are simply waiting on a big wedding, or are you are you dragging your feet? Is she not the one? Honestly, Your Honor, that's just an excuse not to do it. Yeah. That's all that is. So she doesn't want a big wedding. Now what you gonna do? Now. Again, honestly, proper setting for honesty. <laughs> I want to marry her. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to marry her. But now, now, but I want to marry her. 
He always says, I think she deserves. I think she deserves to have a big wedding for everything that she put up with with me at the beginning. I feel like that. I feel like I want to save up and give her a big wedding. I think that is the biggest load of crap ever. <laughs> and let me tell you why. You don't want a big wedding. You think you're going to say, I'm going to wait till I can give her one. When she says she doesn't want something, she knows what she doesn't want. She's not 12. She's, she's the mother of your child. So if she says she doesn't want it, then you go with that. She said what she wanted. She wanted a ring, the courthouse, and five years down the line, she wanted a wedding. Listen to what a woman says so you can give it to her. When men come in here talking about, I want to give her a big wedding, that's just an excuse not to do it. Yeah. That's all that is. So she doesn't want a big wedding. Now what you going to do? <laughs> now, the other thing was, the other thing was, before we can even step foot in the wedding stage, we have to get stuff right before we even think about moving forward. That's a big step. No, a big step was getting her pregnant. That was the big step. That was the forever step. That was, that was the, a whole new life, economic obligation. Oh my God, we gotta be fully grown step. You didn't seem to have a problem with that, and I know you got another kid by another woman. So if you wanna come off in here as logical, you have to include that in that process. It's not just you knock up a woman and, eh, eh no, I don't know. We need, to, we need to figure out who we are to one another. You know, wrap it up, tuck it up, something. Right. <laughs> and now I gotta yell at you. He always tells me that I need to get my, st my stuff together and then he'll give me a ring. Yeah. But, I'm, but that's, that, that's, that's, that's a load you. of horse pucky. You know it's a load of horse pucky. What you need to do, just like him, is to guard your, guard your freedom, guard your control, guard your leverage, which means guard your fertility. You can't just have a baby, because you're stuck. You know what I mean? They don't go nowhere. They're there. He might toddle off, just like he toddled off on that last woman. But there you are with that baby. <laughs> Holy moly, 99 different kinds of contraception out there. Pick one, use it. <laughs> you say you want $400 from me for emotional distress. <laughs> um, honestly? <laughs> honestly, Your Honor? You say you want $400 from me for emotional distress. Yes, I said that, um, and let me tell you why. Now, I think it was like one week straight, we got a lot of argue, a lot of fighting. A lot of stuff I wasn't starting, but I let her have it because she just had my child. I know postpartum plays a, a part in that with women, and I understood that. We talked about that, we was prepared before that. So I let a lot of that stuff slide. Now, for a whole seven days, a whole, huh? A whole seven days straight, nonstop though, you know? So I took a couple days off work um, just to get my thoughts back together, just to see, you know, where I was at. You and, took you time know? off work to recover from arguments with your lady <laughs> after you just had a baby? Intense arguments with my lady. Intense. You may have to come <laughs> hold me down. <laughs> Go ahead. So, so, you know, I just felt like, you know, as much as I, I give, I just felt like, you know, I should receive something back for those two days I missed. That's all I was saying. But I've been through so much with Oh, him. don't say a word. Okay. <laughs> you need to grow up. I'll take that. You're out here creating lives and you can't manage to conduct yourself with seven days of distress without taking off of work. What kind of nonsense is that? 
Life is full of distress. Life is full of difficult things. Life is full of problems. Life is going to be much more full of problems because you can't control your fertility. So you're going to have baby mama drama here, baby mama drama there. You're going to have support payments. You're going to have difficulties. You're going to have problems. You're going to have conversations. And, 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 you, and the last thing you can do is take off work because you owe too many people. Whatever you do, don't get installed, madam. With as installation occurs when he gets you in. He's, he's knocked you up already. He gets you in the house, gets you playing mom, gets you playing wife, and then he has absolutely no reason to put a ring on your finger. What you need to do is honor your mind, honor your future, honor your obligations, honor your options, and become the woman that you want to be, regardless of what he does. You need to be in a position to make this brother an option and not your only choice. Do you understand what I'm telling you? There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Five years from now, maybe you guys can make it to the courthouse or what? Or sooner. You know, I just need to grow up and get it together for um, It's me and her. I got it. And I wouldn't mind marrying him soon. I just want him to get together. He needs to grow up. I just wish we didn't have to come here for him to realize. Judge, today's case, love on top. Thank you. We have two relatively young people with two very young children. One wants to keep this union together, the other one is completely out the door. Let me see which way this thing is gonna go. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Darnisha Henderson and Pedro Henderson. The two of you have been together for eight years, married for three. You have two children together, two and four, two years old and a four-month-old. Ms. Henderson, you want to save this marriage. Mr. Henderson, you are done. Ms. Henderson, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Your Honor, I know we're here in divorce court, but this is far from what I want, a divorce. I'm here to work on our marriage and take our love to the top. Pedro's far from perfect, but he's the perfect guy for me. For example, um, reasons I say he's imperfect. When I was four months pregnant, we went to the doctors for the baby, and mm -hmm. after we left the doctor's office, uh, he told me he had to go to work. And we kissed and said goodbye, and I'm walking down the street, and I see my husband holding a female's hand. So I walk up to him, and I say to him, Pedro, who is this? He tells me it's his girlfriend. Mm. So then, when I was seven months pregnant, I'm getting ready for work, going to work. He tells me I have to take the baby to daycare. Why do I have to take the baby to, day, uh, the baby to daycare? I'm going to work. You could take him. So I, I'm late for work. I take the baby to daycare. I call out of work because I already feel something's wrong. I get home. Pedro moved out of my house and was gone. Packed his stuff and gone, Your Honor. Packed his stuff and gone. Mr. Henderson, uh, you can address <laughs> both of those uh, stories independently. Let's talk about the four-month... Uh, when she was four months pregnant, what happened there? Um, I was, I'm done. I was done, Your Honor. Like, um, as far as that situation, th that was just telling her I was done too. Like, I didn't lie to her. Like, this is my girlfriend. Like, you feel me? So you've had that girlfriend for a while? No, nah, we've been dealing off and on. We went to school together and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. How long had you been dealing with that girl girlfriend after you were married? A couple months. Yeah. Did you have the conversation with her at some point? We're done? Not really. But we've been having issues. Like, it, you could tell it was done. Like, it's always nice. Well, nice she was four months it. pregnant. It couldn't have been but so done. It was still... <laughs> it was still stuff going on. What do you mean, stuff going on? What was going on? Like, I'm, I'm coming... I came home... Prime example, I came home drunk one night um, at, like, 3 in the morning, and her phone vibrating while she sleep. It's 3 mm -hmm. in the morning. I'm drunk. I don't know if it says me to go through a phone, but I just went through it. Mm -hmm. And I was scrolling, and I see the guy's name, and I see naked pictures from the guy. Sitting on couches, naked pictures, hands, 
calling her babe, blowing kissy faces. And the first thing she says is, oh, it's old. It's old. It's old. It's old. What? How old was it? Do, do you recall this event where... I don't know what he's talking about. This is news to me. <laughs> this never happened. I, I don't... I plead the fifth. <laughs> That's a whole nother kettle of fish. Yo. That's a whole nother kettle. I have no idea what he's talking about. Well, let me ask you this, Ms. Henderson. You say you want to save this union. I do. You say... And, and, and clearly he admits that he's seeing other people. Were you doing the same? No way. I, I'm innocent. You are innocent. I'm innocent. And she smiles at me. <laughs> She's lying to the court. Yeah. She's lying I'm to the innocent. court. She's I'm lying innocent. to the court. You know something, Mrs. Anderson? Let me tell friends. you this. There's no way. You can't fix something if you pretend it's not broken. Absolutely. And if two things are broken, you can't just fix the one. You gotta fix them both. Mm -hmm. So if he's come to this conclusion about the state of your marriage, in part, as a function of what you've done, unless you're here ready to admit what you've done, I can't help you. Mm -hmm. What have you done? What have you done? I have never done anything. Let me tell out you what she's done, Your Honor. Excuse me, you've never done anything out of the way. No. So those pictures, he made that whole thing up about the naked pictures on the phone, hi babe, all that. He made all that about a whole cloth. Okay. A cheater is a cheater. A cheater always blames someone else for their mistakes. Mr. Henderson, what would you like to say? I went through Instagram and I seen this old man, and I, and I don't know what made me curious to click the message. He got a whole new baby. Stop. He goes, I click the message, I go through his, I go through his photos, you know, but the twist is he married too. And what was he saying in the inbox? Can we do this again? Can we do that again? What are we doing here? Nick, what would you do, Nick? Nick. I I dated him way before. I dated him way before. I was a teenager when I was dating this guy, and he's still in love. Something he should be doing. So you're saying that he me he's messaging you years after your encounters happened. Yes. Years after the cut. Yeah. So he has a whole new baby with a whole new woman. Absolutely. How old's the baby? I don't know. Let's ask him. <laughs> Can't help I don't think I like your attitude. Four days. Four days. <laughs> Four days. The baby is four days old. Oh, hey. Huh. And how old is my baby? Four months. Four months old. You do the math. I know I don't like your you attitude. Can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Yana. I didn't cheat on you. He did. <laughs> I just asked him for the story. <laughs> I'm hurt. I understand that. I understand that. I didn't hurt you, though. Um, <laughs> Do you contend that her cheating came first, or were there issues that were n had nothing to do with cheating that was, led everybody to it go was, astray? It was first. It started off like that. It started, it started off, off like, like that. that. I know she was talking to other people when, when we got together. I was talking to other people. It started off like that. She was uh -huh. lying about talking to other people, but she was. I found out through her phone, as usual. Guys right. hitting me up. Uh, recently, she, um, I started a Facebook group, got um, a couple thousand people, and I add her to it. Right. And my friends in the group, and we, I had an argument with one of my friends. He threw a party, which Darnisha don't know him, and ends up at the party. So I'm in a studio. I get a video on my phone of Darnisha, the one that don't do nothing, right? <laughs> Bending over, shaking her ass, everything, in the party. Yeah, I mean, I not even in the party. They're outside. They're not even in a party. They outside in the parking lot. And she... She's in the Ms. parking Henderson? lot turning up. Okay. That's what she's doing. You understand? Ms. Henderson, were you, you turning up in the parking lot? I had been, I had been drinking. I hadn't eaten anything. I got to the party. I was enjoying myself. I was drinking. I drank a little more. I drank too much. So she was shaking her in the parking lot, right? Right. She ended up spending the night at my friend house. I was drunk. What and you then want me leaving to drive in the morning time the wall? and Stop. put it on on Facebook. Explain the circumstance. I went to the, I went to the party. I had been I had been drinking. I hadn't eaten anything. I got to the party. I was enjoying myself. I was drinking. I drank a little more. I drank too much. I got drunk. I will admit that. I was dancing. But the same guy that sent him the video was trying to talk to me as well. He didn't tell him that. Okay. Right. right and right. your honor. Yes. Back to my story. He wasn't even there when my daughter was born. I called him. I texted him. I told him it's time. Is that the two year old or the four month old? No, the four month old. old. I texted him. I called him. It's time. I'm driving myself to the hospital. I'm gonna wait for you. 
I couldn't wait a week later when I did hear from him. Let me ask you a question. You, d you two dated for five years and then got married. Was there any point in time in which you both believed that you were both faithful and marriage was a good idea? When we got married. A couple months. For a couple it's, months. It, it felt good. It felt good for a couple months. Then when you move with somebody, then you, everything goes downhill after that. Yes, Mrs. Anderson. And on top of that, in December, my son had a seizure was hospitalized. I reached out to him. He blocked me on all social media networks. I couldn't call him. I couldn't text him. So, so I reached out to somebody. To hang that. on, hang on. I don't know that. I reached out to somebody that's mutual between us and asked him to deliver the message that my son was going to be hospitalized. I didn't hear from him for two weeks. My son could have been dead. How you know I got that message? Well, I didn't well, get let, no let message me ask about you this, that. Mr. Henderson, whether... I don't care if she slept with the entire NFL. <laughs> She's got your babies. How could it be that you're out of contact with her completely so you don't know that your progeny is okay? Good question, Ron. I, I, I take that. I take that. But understand, I blocked her, yes, because we was going through stuff, and if she really wanted to get in touch with me, she know how to get in touch with me. So I don't know who she told to get in touch with me, but they didn't. But today... But obviously we... she didn't know how to get in touch with you because she was trying I'm, and was I'm, unable to do it. Point blank, Your Honor, I'm done, done. Like, I'm done. I got that, got that. There's no such thing. I get that. Dying. We're on the voice court, right? There's the no such court? thing. I, 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 hey, 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 turn around. Till death, part. <laughs> Til death do us part. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not signing anything. There's nothing you can do. She ain't even There's nothing you, anybody can do. I'm not getting divorced. Let me tell you, on a legal tip, you don't have to sign nothing. I'm not. He can divorce you. And if you don't participate, that just means you don't have a say in how the, how the money gets managed or what happens with the kids. He can divorce you. He does not need your okay. He does not need your signature. He does not need your approval. Well, you do I not take have care to of everything every, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just telling you, legally, he can. I feel like I ain't finished my well, story. So she was shaking her ass in the parking lot, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> This is my friend. I got to express the fact that this is my friend. Darnisha Talk does not me, know her. Talk Mr. Henderson. Darnisha don't know my friends. She ended up spending the night at my friend house. I was drunk. What and you then want me leaving to drive in the and morning to time the wall? and Stop. put it on, on Facebook for the world to see. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. How you f like that? You worried about social media? You didn't. I'm say not worried about social media. I'm worried about my wife being at a party with my friend. When he mistakenly sent me a sex video that he know. was in. He mistakenly sent yes, you a sex video he was in. Yes, he sent me a sex video he was in. Your Honor, I have text messages. Okay. Of and what am I looking at? That he wants to be with this other girl, and that I have to accept it. You're under thirty. Can can to you translate done. this for me? Right next. <laughs> never really serious, were you? No, we weren't. <laughs> we... Now, was what part. is the longest period of time in your relationship, either before or after you've gotten married, that it was okay? That before people we got married, weren't traveling? Before we got married, before we had kids? All five years? What changed it? Um, we just not compatible. Like, it's not, it's not compatible. Like, she don't want to cook. Your Honor. I end up at McDonald's every finish. day to the point that I go in McDonald's and the lady behind the counter, like, you're here again. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I cook for someone that don't appreciate me? Why do you say he doesn't appreciate you? Because he you? doesn't, ma'am. Your Honor, I have text messages. Okay. Of and what am I looking at? That okay. he wants to be with this other girl and that I have to accept it and that he can only see my son if she brings him to see the baby. Why? I didn't have a baby with her. I had a baby with you. In my defense, I know nothing about this conversation. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, had it with I don't know nothing about it. I just read it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. I, I'm just, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm ready. I'm done. Till death do us part. We're on divorce court. This is what no. we're here for. You, no, you're, under, you're, not. you're under 30. Can, can you translate done. this for me? Right next <laughs> Who's talking to whom and what are they saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to get out there and not have no <laughs> bull stuff. Okay. Well, I get that part. All right, I'm, I'm moving on. <laughs> My wish. Uh, 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 uh. I was gonna help on you, Ron. Yeah, this is I, I this. I don't even. I don't. I don't you get, don't even. Yeah, that. You I, ain't yeah, even. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got no idea. You got nothing. 
No. Well, I tell, send it over there to him. Tell him if he can tell me what's what's transpired. Let's, let's start. Let's start here. You don't know either. Just this give me no, a this, cleaned this up version. This supposed to be me from my profile. Somebody wrote home my profile. My writing to who? This is my girlfriend. She's writing to her on my profile. So they're beefing on your profile. Right, somebody, she's writing her from my page. That's I me gotcha. right there. She's writing her. She wants to drive me out there tomorrow, whatever. She's just telling her, setting up arrangements for this me to pick the baby up. This is unacceptable. Which Darnisha don't want to give me the baby and take her Am I the wife or is she Brooklyn. the wife? She don't want me to bring the baby to my I house. Got you. You, I got you. You want to look at that again? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. You want your exhibit A? I'll take that. Exhibit A? <laughs> no, exhibit I want a. you to get your act together. That's exhibit what I want. Exhibit A. Down the drain. Exhibit A. What are you trying to say? What do you think will be different? And how do you think it will become different? Your Honor, if I take all the cheating and all the bad things away from Pedro, he's the perfect guy. He's catering. He's nurturing. <laughs> he's good with the kids. You know, like, he's a I love perfect him. guy. He is. He, didn't, he doesn't come to see the baby people or I didn't... said if I take away all, all the, the bad, cheating, all the negativity. If you take, well, if you take away all the negativity from Satan, he's a good guy. <laughs> okay, what is that? I knew that was coming to that. That's crazy. You know, that doesn't make any sense that to me. I felt that You can't help who up. you love. I'm in love with him. You, can help, you can't help who you love, but you can't help who you live with. You can't help what you do. You can't help how many babies you have. You can't make a decision that, despite the fact that you love somebody, that that person may not be good for you and that you ought to do something else. But we took vows. I understand that. And I take them very seriously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm done, Your Honor. I'm done. I'm done. You hear me, Nick? I just want to be a good uh, wife and a great mother to my My understanding, Ms. Ms. Henderson, if I could not broker a peace, which clearly <laughs> is not going to happen, <laughs> that you want $4,769 from Mr. Henderson. You say that it's his portion of the bills for three months. Why don't you explain to me why you're asking for these sums? We have children together, we live together, and that's not my problem, that you messed up and moved out. Okay. The bills and, and life still goes are on. Are still coming along. That's right. not my problem. Mr. Henderson, are you still assisting in the, in, in, in yeah. the financial care of your children? Yes. Even though you are absent from the home? Yes. In, I in what manner? paying rent and everything, that's not, no. In I'm what manner? I, t I go see my kids, I buy them stuff, they know me, they know I'm their father, like, I'm in my kids' life. My question was, do you participate meaningfully in the financial well-being of your children? Not as I should, no. Well, what do you think you ought to be doing? I should be there more, but I be, it's stuff, it's a lot, of, it's complicated. You know what, being a grown man, being a husband, being a father, that's a lot of complications. It's, it's grown man business, it's not easy. You have to deny yourselves wants and desires. You have to do things that you don't want to do. You have to work when you don't want to work. You have to try when you don't want to try. You have to be a grown person. <laughs> I don't see grown person anywhere in here. I'm grown. I don't... Y'all just out there. Let me ask you this. You say it's $4,700. That's for three months, correct? He owes me his life. <laughs> see? That's why I can't, can't get along, because she think like that, Your Honor. That's mm -hmm. why. I owe my How life. How am I supposed I to think I'm hurt? Mrs. Henderson, you're not the first woman to get hurt. I you won't be life. the last. Now, you're asking me for almost $5,000, and you don't have the common sense to come correct. Now, I'm not a silly person, so if you're owed the money, I'm going to give it to you, no matter what your attitude is, because mm -hmm. the law is the law, unless you act so foolish that I can't get to it and I have to put you out. I can put you out whenever I get ready. Okay. So, so, so you clear about what's happening here? Ma'am. Do you believe that you have any financial obligation to this woman? As far as my kids, yes. I don't know about her housing situation, paying bills. Not, I don't you live You know, she, they go to daycare. I don't live there. Do you doubt that she goes to daycare every day? No, I don't doubt that. I know they do. You know they do. How much is their daycare monthly? I, honestly, I don't know monthly. I pay $55 a day. $55 a day? Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about the money in, the, in a moment, but the money's not as important as what I'm about to say. You guys clearly were not ready to be married. It was wonderful in the beginning. It's all, Attila the Hun is fun for 30 days. But it, you know, it just, just, but I want you to walk out of here with an agreement to be the best co-parents that you can be. 
okay? Mm -hmm. $1,100 a month for daycare for three months is $3,300 divided by two because you owe half is $1,650 in favor of Mrs. Henderson. It is so ordered. So we know you're done. We heard that plenty back there. That's fine. But what are you doing now to move forward as far as a, uh, a father goes? I'm just going to co-parent, be in my children's life more, and take her complaints about the children seriously. Do you still want to be married? Till death do us part. So she didn't get through to you? You're not really? No. Do you think he's going to stick around? Probably not.